Hey, what is happening everyone? Welcome back to another video, and today we're playing PUBG Mobile on the Samsung Galaxy A70. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now for this one, we'll be trying it out with this gun grip right here. I've actually tried it before and I had a pretty great time. It works, it's uh, pretty comfortable, and overall, it gets the job done. Now one caveat of this thing, of course, it's uh, it's pretty loud. And it does support a wide range of phones, so you should be pretty good. Except uh, if you have a really thick case, then you may encounter some issues. That being said, this is the A70 that's supposed to have this pretty cool back, but of course, indoors it doesn't look all that great. But under sunlight, I think it's gonna look pretty awesome. And we also do have something pretty new. We do have a crate right here, which is pretty cool. I got my speaker for you guys and my headphones. And with all that being said, let's just get right into it. Alright, so I guess we'll drop into military, and I have not played this game in a very long time. So let's see how I do. Okay, we got a bunch of people, and I'm probably gonna die really quickly, so... Let's just hope I get a gun, that's all I care about. Just a pistol, you know, not asking for much. Cause that's all you need in PUBG Mobile. I just hope that the building I'm getting into... Oh boy, oh, oh no. I'm just hoping that he's not shooting me. Yep. All right, we good. That guy probably shed his pants. Time to get a new pair. Cool glasses, yes please. Well, I'm just gonna run in there. This game is doing a terrible job at telling me where everyone is. Oh, he just teleported. Oh, hell yeah. Give me that. 3x, yup, suppressor, why not? Oh, there's a car. Let's go after him. Like, you can hear him in the building. It's a concrete building, how can he even hear any of that? Come on, peek. He got me. Nice, look at him, he's fully loaded with all the skins. Well, next game. So temperature wise, so far so good, not bad at all. It is warm, but not too warm. The performance has not dropped yet. That being said, I do want to mention something about the touchscreen controls. The controls of the touchscreen here are not very extremely responsive compared to other phones, for say. There's something about it, it doesn't feel right when moving back and forth. It's not very precise, but we'll give that a try and show you guys what I'm talking about. And that's why I have enabled the uh, gyroscope option right here, because I can't get that perfect aim. So uh, if you're planning to get this phone to play PUBG Mobile and use only your touchscreen without the gyroscope option, well, keep watching and we'll find out if it's uh, any good. All right, so I'm just gonna jump somewhere random, totally random. I really have no idea where I am right now, but that's how I roll. All right, so I got my R45, some drink, a little helmet. That's probably a bot, or someone with a really unfortunate cell phone. But he has some pretty good loot. No cool glasses, but he does have this bandana. Don't mind if I do. Get the M4 for that long range. And let's go and find out where that was. I didn't actually pay attention where that was. And let's hope we don't get uh, one shot in the face uh, with this terrible armor. Gonna turn our light right there into red. While we're here, you know, it's probably a terrible place to show you guys what I'm talking about, but yeah, that's definitely a terrible place. I think I just saw someone right there. That was a terrible time to do this, but here we go. Yep, I did see someone. So yeah, actual like fine tuning of the actual aim. As you can see, it jumps, it's not perfect. It's kind of very similar to that Xiaomi uh, Mi 4 tablet that we have reviewed uh, quite a while ago. Yeah, it's not perfect. It's not very precise. I'm trying to move here and I should be getting some very smooth movement. As you can see, I'm wiggling my thumb right here very slowly, but the actual gun is not moving a whole lot. It's not very responsive. That is just how it is. I'll pass on the glasses, but there is someone here. Does he have any armor? Well, if he did, it's probably gone by now. Yep, no armor. These are definitely bots. If they just run at you like that, I mean, come on. That guy in the beginning, that was not a bot. It's fully loaded. Got all the skins, and had me red in his reticle, even though I did too. But I had a terrible, terrible helmet. Alright, 61 left. Not doing great so far. I need myself a vehicle. So let's go in and find one. Man, this car does not like... What? <laughs> yeah, touchscreen, definitely not as responsive as I would like. It's not very responsive. Either that, or they completely changed and reworked the controls for these cars. Because I cannot control these things properly anymore. Really have no idea. It just turned to the left on its own. Okay, we're going straight. Unless they implemented some kind of broken tire mechanic. Okay, let's. Let. 
All right, let's just get out of here and get a new one. I believe in you. Come on, get up there. All right, just hoping I don't get shot. Ghillie suit. Yep, thank you, thank you. Uh, yep, definitely. On there we go, we're good. Mission successful so far. Someone's behind me, I know that. Okay, there's three people. All right, one behind me. All right, let's, let's try to be on top of my game because this recording setup is kind of getting in the way here. I do not have a scope for the sniper. That was kind of sloppy, but we got him. I think he has a scope. I hope he does. A 3x. I guess that will do. And a compensator. And some more health. Wait, he did have, though, a silencer. Yep, there we go. Now we're good. Now we need a car. So, so far, I'm actually doing pretty terrible. These guys are just unlucky. Especially with this recording setup. It could be the phone. It's definitely the phone because uh, the aiming here is not one-to-one. -one. And the fact that I'm using this new grip that I've never really gotten used to. But it's still pretty good. I really like it. Oh yeah, and also the fact that I'm just uh, behind a camera and all that stuff. So can't really move as much. Gotta keep the phone in frame. 16 left. I guess we could leave the car and go out on an adventure. Let's make sure nobody's following us. I definitely need to redo my mapping for these guns because they're kind of too far and too small. The game here is not running at 60 FPS anymore. It is uh, slightly slowing down, maybe 40 FPS, definitely not 60. Now, of course, since I'm resting my arm on this desk, I am losing some blood flow to my arm. So uh, I'm not getting the best response time right now. And I should have kept the scar maybe. Nine left, seven game ended, seven left. Cause you know, we don't get a demonetize. Okay, this is terrible. I shouldn't be here, the circle's too small. Actually, I should go to one of the edges. All right, it's too big. It's pretty big. And I'm in the middle, so there's gonna be snipers everywhere. All right, so triggers, not as responsive. There's too much push before you actually trigger something. So I'm gonna switch back to burst. I'll make sure to press harder next time when I'm shooting. And they could probably hear me a mile away. Here's my car. Maybe. Move. Come on, come on. That's terrible. Oh, it's just me and him. Well, he got me. All right, so the conclusion, basically the phone here doesn't have the best touchscreen. As I have shown you before, the touchscreen, it just doesn't have that precise movement. When you move your thumb, when you're trying to just roll your thumb across the screen, it's supposed to move your reticle accordingly. And this is a new phone, and it's from Samsung. It's not some Chinese phone, it's not some cheap phone, but it is a budget phone. I'm pretty sure it's the digitizer and not the display itself, because when you actually roll your thumb, it doesn't respond to it. It kind of just, uh, just jumps every now and then. It is definitely not perfect for games like PUBG where you need some accurate shooting. That being said, yes, you can turn on your gyroscope, but for some reason the gyroscope here, I didn't find it to uh, be very sensitive. You gotta move it quite a lot before it actually registers anything. Uh, I haven't checked if there's any settings in the game to uh, manually set that. That being said, when it comes to the actual gun grip right here, it has done a pretty okay job. It can hold the phone properly. It does give you a decent grip, but the problem with this one is it's that for some reason the right one here is slightly higher than the left one. So double tapping is gonna be kinda hard. That being said, it's a decent phone for PUBG. Again, I believe I was running Smooth HD with 60 FPS and the colorful preset. You can probably drop it to Smooth or anything beyond that and just keep that 60 FPS. Halfway through the game, the game started dropping frames. It's less than 60 FPS. It was around 40 to 45. Again, the 
start screen, not very precise, gyroscope is uh, kind of slow, and the gun grip right here, you gotta really get used to it and map everything perfectly. And if you do order this thing, you might actually get one that's properly set up where both of them are the same exact height. You could probably mod it, but that'll be for another video in the future. And other than that, that is actually all for this video. So thank you all for watching. If you do have any questions, then do let me know in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.